What is up everybody? This is War Dirty Gaming and today I would love to make a quick video on how to fix the Nest Pi 4 case issue if you're running into this issue. So the issue is the Nest Pi 4 case is not reading your SSD. So you install the build onto the SSD and you plugged it in but nothing's working. So your Pi 4 is EEPROM updated and your build is USB ready but nothing's happening. So what's going on here is, to make things simple, it's basically the USB device that's in the case itself. There's a protocol that it's using that the Pi 4 doesn't want to read. And there's a very quick fix for this, and that's to make the Pi basically ignore this protocol. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that in this video. So let's jump into it. So first things first is what I do is I actually just plug the case into my computer. So I take it apart and I put the SSD into the case and I plug it into my computer. And then once I do this, it should load up on my computer and show a boot drive. And what you're going to want to do is click on that boot drive, look for a file called CMD line, open that up, and scroll all the way to the right. And what's going to happen is you're going to actually paste this little part in here. So you're going to see something like this and then all you're going to want to do is paste that. And this will be in the description but make sure there's not two spaces, there's only one there. And then once that's done you just save it and that is all. And let's say you are still having issues and nothing's working. So what you're going to want to do sadly is burn an image to an SD card and boot up your Pi using the SD card. And then either using the terminal on the Pi or using PuTTY on your computer, you're going to type these two commands in. So let's just load up PuTTY here by typing my IP address for my Pi. And then you're going to log in. Usually the login is Pi. And the password is usually Raspberry, but my password's different, so I'm going to type this in and then this should load. And the first command you're going to type in is ls usb. And then when this loads, you're going to look for the case itself. Usually the case is called J Micron Technology Corp. Like on the side here you're going to see that, but I don't actually have it plugged in cuz it's plugged into my computer like you see here. And then what you're going to want to do is actually copy the ID which is right here. Your ID might be different depending on the case, but I'm pretty sure they're all the same. But in case, this is going to help you out. So you're going to copy that, and you're just going to replace this part after equals, but not removing the U. Just paste it like that. And then you're just going to copy that, because you're going to need that. I'm not going to save that. And then you're going to type in another command, sudo nano boot cmd line.txt and you're going to go into that and then again you're going to scroll all the way to the right and you're going to paste it like you see here I've already done that so I don't need to do it again but it's very simple and then all you're going to do is press control x and then yes and then enter and then you should be brought back here and then you have to read the image off the SD card and then reburn it to the SSD and everything should now work. And this method does work with other enclosures if you're using them and they don't seem to be booting up. You're thinking it's the SSD but that's not usually the issue. It's usually the enclosure using a protocol that the Pi 4 is not agreeing with. So that is all guys. It's a very quick fix and um, Again, thanks for watching, guys. And again, this method is super easy just to use the case that came with it if you don't already have an enclosure. Um, it just makes things very easy. But uh, again, thanks for watching, guys. Have yourself a great one. Peace.